start now. Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm Nick. I wish to probably start without the rhetoric and PC platitudes that we've been listening to. I live in a real world. We start off with the support, the wages for the living wage for the council. At the moment, the council pays $34.5 million in its existing wage bill. When you do the calculation out of what this extra cost is going to cost, we're talking about ratepayers here, yeah, ratepayers that are struggling to pay their rates at the moment. So before I would even answer that one, I would like to get the numbers. The second one is when we become a child-friendly city. Well, I'm currently a dad of a three and a half year old and I've got an older son of 46 and I've got grandkids and all the rest of it. So I'm pretty well up with what's going on with an age free city. A city. I can tell you that again, it's another PC slogan. We've got them, sister cities. We've got blue beaches. We've got the rest of the carry on. We've got to get back to basics. This is just crap without detail. And until we get some real people back in council with some real basic common sense, you're going to have to see stuff like this all, in, all the time. The next one is what affordable measures will we take to make the city? First of all, you've got to put a carrot out there. Why the council doesn't allow for a rebate for saying that a landlord sticks in double glazing? Why isn't there a decent rebate for somebody putting in insulation? Why isn't there a decent rebate on rates I'm talking here, which are 50% overvalued? If we reduced our rates by 50%, a lot of people could actually afford to do all these things. We have so much dead wood and hangers on in the system now. We need to have a totally fresh approach to what is going on in council. They hide behind policy. They hide behind monitoring committees. They hide behind reports. In the real world, we would have had a truck up at Barfield. There would have been three or four loads of Bashfield across the road. We would have got a local contractor in and dug a hole so it put some concrete in so that the bus could pull up off the road. We would have killed two things in one week and it costs probably less than what we've just given the NLI last week. I could go on and on about the ridiculous situation that we listened to. I grew up in Obanaki. We didn't have it. I grew up with Maoris as Maoris. I didn't know that they were different. From 1980 on, I have been told that they, need a help, that they need a help. Your two minutes and 30 seconds is up. Thank you. I could go on. I really could. Feel free to wrap it up afterwards. <laughs> <laughs>